Wait, what? What's up guys, it's me Janet and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I take filler pictures for my Instagram. If you guys don't know what filler pictures is, filler picture is basically a picture that is not of your face. In particular, some people would say it's a picture that's not of you, but I feel like certain parts of your body could also be a filler picture like your hands or something like that. A filler picture could also be like a flat lay, a picture of something that's a filler space between you and you. Does that make any sense? So I'm gonna show you some examples examples on the screen right here of what a filler picture would look like. Personally, I love taking filler pictures of certain parts of your body or a flat lay of like jewelry and magazines and stuff like that. So I'll go like straight into details of what type of filler picture I take. Also, I'll be showing you guys some examples on the screen of my personal pictures so you guys will get to see an example of how I do it at the same time get to hear me speaking about it. So let's get straight into the video. So I've got all my pointers over here. I'm just gonna read it out and explain it to you guys. So the first type of filler picture we have is the typical flat lay picture. You guys have seen this picture everywhere. People use it with food, with jewelry, with anything of any sort. My flat lay always has a couple of bases. The first one is my complete base which is either your floor or your table or something of that sort like your bed or something. For me, I like having more of like a white, a cream base. I don't like having colors as my base. So I usually use either my house floor which is white. It's like a grayish white or my counter top which is why I use a white rug sometimes. One very good idea of layering is always magazine. Vogue magazine works wonders. Coffee table books. I freaking love coffee table books. Coffee table books. Anything that's very aesthetically pleasing. Those milk and honey books. Anything that looks really cute, really aesthetically pleasing. That matches your aesthetic in particular. You can just layer that. You can leave it open or close the book. Whatever that you feel looks cute, appropriate for your layering. You guys can also layer like a bunch of jewelry. For example if you're post for the day you want to talk about your favorite jewelry item you can layer a bunch of jewelry on top of your magazine or dripping dripping down the base of your picture you guys can put in like a flower or two in that picture you can use a coffee cup or tea cup with like some tea in it just keep piling things on and arranging it as it goes you guys want to take your phone go on top and like have a look at it how it looks like flat lay pictures usually works best in picture square mode some people may do it in like non picture square mode but for me personally I feel like flat lay pictures always look super cute when you use it in like picture square mode it gives you like the perfect cutout so yeah Speaking of using magazines in your pictures, I feel like Vogue magazine in particular, they always have like some really nice uh, brand ads inside like Saint Laurent ads or like um, some Chanel ad or something like that. You guys can use that even though it's not like the cover photo and the cover photo is what people usually use for pictures. Personally, I don't really use cover photo for pictures because I feel like Vogue cover photos, yeah most of them are nice but also most of the time they don't really match my aesthetic. So you guys can like flip through the magazine pages, there are tons of really really beautiful ads really like cute cutouts that you guys can actually incorporate in your pictures. So the next shot that I'm going to be talking about is a body shot. I feel for me personally I love a good shoulder slash like a lip shot kind of like a cut out of your just like your shoulders your lip and maybe some jewelry item maybe not a jewelry item probably a top that you think is really cute like something that's off the shoulder or like a tube top or something of that sort. I feel like those pictures are very good filler pictures. It's just something about it that looks very beautiful very sexy but it's like not flashy all you've got to do is just like slap on some like lip gloss or like a really beautiful lip color you guys can promote your lip colors your jewelry like for example your necklace or a piece of earring but you want to like focus if you're taking a filler picture of like that body shot that I was talking about you want to focus on certain details for me I usually focus on my lip like the gloss or the lip color sometimes I focus on a earring that I'm wearing that I would like to that I really want to show I want to make it pop so I don't really put much of a lip color I put like probably just a simple lip balm or a lip gloss and put on my earring no necklace nothing of that sort basically try to get your focus point across another close-up body shot that you guys can do is is outfit shots without your head. I know that sounds really really weird right now just hearing out just the outfit shot without your head but sometimes I feel like when every picture contains a picture of your face in it. For me I'm a fashion account I post a lot of fashion pictures but if it's all outfit shot outfit shot outfit shot 
and all three of them contains me looking at the camera or looking away that contains my head in it it's gonna look like all of the same thing so you need something to break out that space so you can take like certain parts of your outfit you can show the back of your body you can show like you covering your face with a book those make really 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 good filler pictures even though it's of you in it but I feel like when you cover your face with a book or stuff like that it kind of breaks out your Instagram feed between the first picture of you and the third picture of you one little tip I want to give you guys over here is for editing pictures I know this is a little bit off track but if you guys have uh, certain parts of your house I know like sometimes if you guys are like on a younger age audience who are watching this you live with your parents and you can't really pick your furniture you can't really pick the way your kitchen look you can't really pick the way you know a lot of things in your house look but you want to take a picture there for example you have like a really beautiful kitchen but your whole countertop is like a marble green and your aesthetic is perhaps um, like mine more neutral what you can do is there is this app called Snapseed it's not sponsored by the way I use this app like for years and years now where there's a option where you guys can desaturate if you guys were on my channel a long time ago I, sh I made a video of how I edit my Instagram pictures I showed you guys this app I always use this app when there's a place that I don't like the color or something like that or I'm wearing an outfit a super cute picture but my outfit is for example the red top and the picture before was a red top as well so I want to make this one into a grey top I basically just desaturate the top it honestly takes away the colour from the picture so when you do your whole edit it looks like it was a grey background or like a white surface or something and depending on what colour the item was it will kind of desaturate following this, that colour the next filler picture I'm going to be talking about is I call it the golden hour play out where basically when the sun is setting or the sun is rising you know during the whole golden hour time it's really nice to take selfies yeah but it's also perfect for taking filler pictures golden hour uh, glow really helps with like if you want to create effect for example right now the sun is setting and you have like blinds on it gives you like those cut line effects I don't know if you guys can get what I'm explaining I can't really show examples of my personal picture of this cut line because I don't have blinds in my house but I'll take up some Pinterest pictures and I'll put it up on the screen those cut lines of the blind really create such beautiful like reflection you guys can take reflections of your shoes with that or like your hair or um, just perhaps your bed with a book on it or something like that another thing you guys can do I do this a lot effects basically you guys can use a lot of things you can use a chair you can use um, perhaps your fake plant or your real plant you can take this plant put it in front of the window and it kind of like reflects and creates a shadow effect of your plant you guys can do a lot of things you guys can take like anything to be honest just anything would work anything that has lines shape um, anything that the Sun can reflect through it creates really really beautiful uh, kind of effect so yeah just play around with them play around with everything in your house take them put them in front of the light you know goof around a little bit and you guys will get yourself some really really cool filler pictures the next filler picture I'm gonna be talking about is face mask and I know this involves your face but if you guys take really close-ups or if you guys just I don't know I feel like face mask kind of counts as a filler picture maybe it doesn't but it's still a cute picture to post on Instagram I feel like face mask not like this transparent mask those like perhaps like a black mask which is like a volcano mask or if your Instagram doesn't really have a particular theme perhaps like a blue mask or a red mask or just something that really pops I have like blue and red mask but it doesn't match my theme so that's where the Snapseed app that I spoke to you guys about comes into place I just remove the color from the blue or the red mask and I have myself a grey mask slash white mask the blue turns into white but the red turns into grey so yeah that's what I meant when I said the color kind of desaturates following what color the original item was so the last and final filler picture that I have for you guys is leg shots I don't know I know that sounds really really weird but I like taking a lot of leg shots basically I put on a pair of shoes it's kind of like a shoe shot I'd call it something that shows off your perhaps your new pair of heels oh this is not on the list but I did a bag shot a hand of like my cuffling shot not cuffling but it was kind of like a bracelet kind of dangles down I, I captured it in my cuffling or something like that but I insert those kind of shots over here so you guys will get like a rough idea of really beautiful filler pictures to take and I hope this video assisted you guys it's like 18 minutes 30 seconds right now me filming this video but I hope it gave you guys 
some ideas, some assistance into what uh, what type of filler pictures to take. I don't know where I was going with that, but I hope you gave you guys some ideas. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if it did give you some idea and gave you guys the motivation to get up and go and get yourself some filler pictures. Like extra awesome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below because I upload my videos three times a week, every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Also, it's an Instagram video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram right here. It's cool. It's lit. Go follow me. Go check me out. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. If you guys have any video suggestions, please let me down. Let me down below. Let me know down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye bye. These are the nights to never die. My father told me.